This Yoda, you watching from the bottom to the top. Hey, what's going on? E. Jones, bottom to the top hoops. Here with my man, Lamont Wright, AKA Yoda. What's going on, brother? What's going on, fam? Slow motion, man, we outside. Yeah, it's good to be outside. There you good go. To be, good to be healthy and free. You know? There you go, there you go, man. So, uh, first and foremost, this story goes beyond basketball. You know, obviously our show, we talk a lot about the history of the game, but you know, a lot of the people, because I played the game, I have relationships with, and some people are like family, right? That's us. And we, and we go back to to uh, playing football with the road runners. You heard? Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah taking it back. I taking see it back. Where you're going with this? Yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah. so, so, so that being said, man, um, what I would like to do first of all, and, and before anything, man, is if there's anything specific you want to just share in terms of um, you being home, because we'll get to kind of everything in the story. How, how do you feel right now? Man, you know, it's a blessing to be home, you know? Mm -hmm. you know? God is good, you know, I'm healthy, you know, and um, take it you know, one day at a time. You know? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And that's how, you know, I, I look at things and have this perspective of being home when I've been through it. Yeah. Yep. You know, I see y'all probably since with Lamar Middleton, when I was in Walton, that probably was what, 88? Don't something. give up too much of the story now. Don't give up too much. We don't think <laughs> you know, we know, but we, we made you go way back. Yeah. Like you said, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Like yeah. you said, road runners. They so, know, so football was my first love. We know that it was never I, basketball. Listen, listen, I was blocking. So, uh, I was yeah, blocking. Yeah, he was yeah. running back. So, you know what was really my first love? Yeah, football, yeah. That was basketball. That but, was but, like that. let's clear up for the people. Mm -hmm. Some people say you're from Harlem. Some people say you're from the Bronx. It's a lot of myths going on. We got we we get a chance to clear up the story now. Where are you from? You can't say five places, bro. I mean, I got the um, I got to give it. You know, I I got to say everything really started. I mean, come I, on, I, son. You you can only be from one place. Man, I'm from New York, man. That's oh man, that's a politically correct. And so you from New York? Yeah, man. That's how I was. You belong to the city. Yeah, I belong to the city. <laughs> I, can't, I can't say, you know what I'm saying? As I look now, and right. My blessings today. Yeah. From the city, man. I, I I respect that. So in coming up in basketball, um, where would you say you, you kind of got your start, and where you found the love of the game? That's deep too. I I, I gotta say. I knew my potential, I gotta go with Tom Sweet. Okay. T.S. Bucks. I was probably seven, eight. Mm. Who was playing with you at, uh, during that time? Yeah, Tom Sweet. 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 You 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 Craig, uh, you going back into the files of people. A lot of people don't know these names, man. But at the end of the day, right? I played for Tom Sweet. You played for Tom Sweet. Obviously, at some point, he went over to the Gauchos. And when he went over to the Gauchos, did you make that switch from the Bucks to the Gauchos with him? No, I went before Tom. Tom sent me Candino and God bless the dead, um, Goody. Tom mm. go. Mm. We want to be, because niggas ain't beat us in three years. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, the language, the language, the language. That's huge. Yeah, 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 yeah. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So, uh -huh. I probably was like, like I said, I probably was like probably 11, 12. No, we was like 12. We was all playing biddies. None of us was playing midgets at the time. So, you so I, I got a question that a lot of people probably want to know that you get a chance to answer for yourself. The game nowadays, guys are running fast, jumping high, shooting from deep. All the things, I mean, you was quick, but you wasn't like super fast, right? You had a crazy handle. But what was it about your game that you think helped you stand out and, and dominate, especially at a young age, all the way through? Like, your name preceded you before you came on the court. And you wasn't super tall, you wasn't super strong. What was it about your game? I guess, 
I guess what I can say, you know, with much respect, I, I know I had a gift because I started at a young age. So mm -hmm. What do you think the gift was? You can't teach that. Woo! Well, you got a gift, you can't, you can't teach that. You can't teach it? No, nah, you could teach this all day. Mm. But you had something different. Different. You knew it. That's a, that's the, that's what I was taught. When I saw it, it was people before me that I saw it. So we all was gifted. Mm. It wasn't like, you know what I'm saying? We had we had two star fives, not one. Mm. Our practice was like a game. Not practice. I don't know what practice is. I practice with games. You know that? Competition. Wasn't it? It was games. And then we was ready. Mm. That's an interesting answer because you know, scouts always want to put a label on somebody. They always want to figure out what it is that you do. So if they was recruiting you, they'd just be like, man, he's different. Who were some of the schools that was recruiting you? Well, at the time? When, they, when you was in high school. Top 25 in the nation. You call it probably not Duke or something like that. But I could have At the time, I had. I wanted. I, I was going to Temple. That's okay. Where I was going. So at the time, they had Mark Macon when he was a freshman. Mm -hmm. you know what Shake and bake it, Mark Macon. Yeah, that's what I wanted. You know that when this was all said, I was going to Temple. Mm. I, I, I know I couldn't. My opinion, me playing ball in my history, point guard don't don't do good. Huh? You gotta go, you gotta leave. Mm. That's what I learned from Rod. Rod left. Mm. He didn't the point. Never went back. Mm. Even when he left Truman, he went to OKO killed him. This is what I was watching. Young, 10 years old, 12. You know him. Yeah, Mr. Page. That's who, that's who gave us what we got. <laughs> the gift. The gift. All yeah. of us was gifted. It wasn't no scrubs. That's all. <laughs> You had to get right and then come over here. Yeah. If you ain't right. God, try I used to be. I don't mean this. It'd be the whole city. Ain't no spots. <laughs> right? I'm going to kill you. I'm, I'm going to let you kill me. Nigga. I, at the end of the day, I'm, I'm going home. I might be Vegas. Might be home. It doesn't matter. It's already dead set. Yeah. Got, we've been together all and it's killers. Right. It's real. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. No, this is on a high level all day. Yeah. So, so you playing Tom Sweeten, you playing with the Gauchos, you doing what you do. Now, you know, when do you go from Lamont Wright to Yoda? When do people was, start knowing you? I was as always Yoda. Okay. Until I got to Rice. A lot of people don't even know you went to Rice. My freshman year, my mother, we all know what I did there. <laughs> I don't think the people know. These are the, we talking to the people. What, what, did you, what did you do at Rice? Man, I probably was averaging probably 30, 10. So easy. My freshman year. So light? Like, you know, I numbers. You know, one thing I mean, I was getting buckets. We was going, I was getting a lot of buckets. Yeah, ain't nothing good as you're talking to you. Yeah, you know so light. Saying? Yeah, light. You know my record. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Regular. That's how I was taught, you know what I'm saying? Just do what you do, get in it. And go hard. So what happened at Rice? When my freshman year, I got, at the Rice, I got hit. I mean, excuse me, I got into an injury. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It was the next day of the first day of school, which was crazy. So, so after your freshman year, you killed. Son, 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 the yeah, sophomore son, year, you scored the ball. Uh-huh. So I, I, I took a car, I car, scored the car, and I blew my knee out. Mm. So your whole sophomore year is side out. We know y'all side out. Yeah. I'm acting like I don't know the story. So, just, you know, it's for the viewers. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then boom, you know, I was like, dang, I was going to do something at the time. Now, you know, a lot of things was going different. Uh -huh. I was young, you know, man. halfway in, halfway out. Okay, okay. You know what I'm saying? So, so at, this, at this point, you probably 15, 16, right? You're not going back to rice. You ain't really playing. Well, you can't play ball. Yeah, yeah. Your knee. Yeah, right. Now you're sitting up. Now here comes. Now mind you, you got your name already. Right, it's already. I'm and already. one thing about New York City is when you got a name, people want to get next to you. Exactly. Right? right? And there's influences of people like Dave McCullough. God, I mean, you know, Dave McCullough, shout out to him. Mm -hmm. Always trying to give good information. Absolutely. And then there's other people on the other side coming and saying, yo, come over here and do this. Yeah. 
Right, exactly. So that was the struggle, right? Right. So, so you dabble in mm -hmm. at that point. So are you still hooping heavy when you get back healthy? Yeah, because, I mean, honestly, at the time during my injury, I was like in full therapy. Okay. I played, you know what I'm saying? They even knew took care of me. I was full. Big shout out to Lou. Absolutely, you know what I'm saying? That's, that, was, that was my fault. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, he really, like, I ain't need for nothing. I need for nothing. I, was, I had everything. Mm. Mm. I was in the well, well, they don't know, but we didn't know that. Yeah, I was in the bending before niggas know what that means. Well, I was up in front of Drew. Niggas was like, yo, I'm on the 10. Watch the legs, watch the legs. Excuse me. Yeah. Jack, you know, I do had everything. Yeah. With the guy trying to play. Mm hmm, mm hmm. So I was like 10, like I said, I was probably between 10 and 12, man. Mm. Jumping out of that jump, going right into the bend. Mm. Use the chosen one. Absolutely. You get, you get back healthy. At that point, do you transfer to Walton? Yeah, then I left Walton because... No, let's talk about Walton for a second. Mm -hmm. At that point, Walton, Stevenson, Clinton, Kennedy, all those two schools was kind of vying yeah. in that, that league right, right. to see who's on top. Here comes Yoda to Walton, Walton, right? They already got Lamont, Middleton, Johnson, Giorgio, Spencer Wright. Right. You was the piece of the puzzle that said, somebody got to run this show. General Frazier, man, Coach Frazier, rest his soul, but with so Frazier. Frazier. Yeah, yeah man, you know, Coach, rest his soul, but. He put Frazier, the ball in your hand. Right? As everybody did since I was a baby doing this. Or even they, everybody knows it's like your head. Everybody don't get ice cream. You know what ice cream is? Everybody don't get like that. You know what ice cream is? It's ice cream. That's it. What's, so when you. When, when, what? It's no, ice cream. It's, it's no offense. No ice cream. <laughs> That's not it. Anyway, not crazy. You, you know what we had to do. You know what? I tell people a lot of times, Riverside mm -hmm. often taught skill, development, mm -hmm. plays, and, 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 and they prepare kids. Right. Gaucho built toughness and grit. There was a different style at the way we both were taught. True. So when you say ice cream, we didn't really play offense too much because we were so busy playing defense. Exactly. And then when we were on offense, you give the ball to the best player and you just cook. Cool. We, we, we get into that, you, you, you have ball, and now, what's your mindset? You got, you got some horses with you. You got Lamont Middleton, a lot of people don't know his brother, Darnell. No. He, was, he, was a, he was a bull in the China shop. And um, mm -hmm. you just, you just at that point, you saying to yourself like, I'm gonna go from Walton to Temple, right. right? Right. I mean, I already, you know, like you know, my mind was already shut, even with Dave. You know, but what's crazy, I'm in the jump, you know, change the subject or change lane. But I originally went to Stevenson first. Like, I, see, I, when before when I left Rice, I ain't gonna lie, I sat back, I, I added and I said, Yo, then I go to Tab. You got Chris Davis. Mm -hmm. See, I'm wearing my options. So I said, if I go to Clinton. You, you like LeBron, bro. I'm like, if I go to Clinton. Nah, that ain't going to work that Clinton. Right. Disrespect. Tracy Towers, <laughs> you know, yeah. Dana Bowen. No, Russ Adams was there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I remember. The White was there. I remember. This is right after yeah, Robert so LeBron. That's who I grew up. You know, that's who I grew up. I played with all my life. You got DK, Mikey. Mm -hmm. Look over there. I fit right in. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Chris, Chris Tate, Skeeter yeah. Henry, Will Lewis. I'd have been seat though. I don't know what happened. Seat receivers. They know I was there. And Carlton, rest in peace. Yeah. Rest in Carlton, seat town. Yeah. He was going there. That ain't making. That's why Carlton was the main central. Mm, see town. See when you start saying stuff like that, Carlton was going there. Carlton, we really was going to meet each other there. Excuse me. Like me, I was like, yo, I'm going to go to Stevenson. So I don't know what happened. They, you know, they told me they came back. Told them, like, yo, you got, that's when you had to live in the zone school. <laughs> so I said, you know what? I'm going to go to Walton because I remember my mom was there. Mm -hmm. And John. Mm -hmm. That's all I knew there. That's all I needed. That's the big three. <laughs> it was nothing to be said. That's the big three. Right. Everybody, man. Mm. That was a big three. Y'all do what y'all do over there. And, you know, we talk a little bit offline about kind of 
after your junior year, right? Mm -hmm. At that point, you're not fully in the basketball as much as you was. No, I was. I'm gonna keep it honest for one. I was an allergy. Mmm. After your junior year. I only played one year. You know that? I, I do know that. In one year, I did all that. In <laughs> one year. So I was coming back to finish. <laughs> right. But I was an allergy. Your senior year? I was an allergy. You know what's that crazy? That blew my mind, excuse me, because you know the transition from rice, that's private. Yeah. So when I got the war in, and like you said, I'm on, I'm on celebrity stuff. I never saw boys and like it blew my mind. I'm like, oh nah, this, this can't be civil. <laughs> I'm telling John, I'm like, yo, and Kurt Jackson, my dog. Yeah, like, bad one. Right. I was like, yo, Kurt, this ain't how high school really is. Like, I'd have missed this, I'd have stayed there right for four years. I'd have missed this. Right. Man, it was beautiful. That, that was what was the best time of my life. So when I played there. You ineligible when you go back for your senior year? I ain't go back. You ain't go back? No, Kurt. You already knew? I already knew. I know what I was doing. I mean, I wasn't going to class. I mean, he was, I mean, I ain't gonna lie. I wasn't. Lamar, no, the captain, no, and the, the, the cold captain John, no, I was ducking them in school. Like, oh, we knew where they was going. Yo, they clad up. They go buy them. You know, Frazier ain't working in school. Right. I, mean, the, I definitely had to go to class. And Frazier went to every class. I'm like, <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I knew I wasn't in the So at the time, quiet as kept. Shout out to Coach Dave Britton. Dave, that's when I was in, you know, hanging in the Bronx real heavy. Mm -hmm. So Dave used to come get me all the time, talk to me, work me out. He mm -hmm. put me in summer school that year because I was going to surprise everybody. And go to high. I was gonna do my senior year in Dallas. Mm. Then that ain't work out. Mm -hmm. And they still shut out the cold day break. Made a move. I was gonna, they sent the ticket to my house, to my mom's house, Jacksonville. You go? I was going. That's when God bless the day. Strick was there. Mike Johnson. See, Mike Boogie was there. Jerome Holmes, God bless the dead. We all was coming. Chris Dinkins. I was coming, it was like five of us going with the package here. Mike Johnson, Chris Dinkins, Strick. Jerome Holmes, and Strick. Mm. And me. We all was going to Jacksonville. Mm. So Mike and the lawyer was going out. We mm. was coming in. What happened? The street. Mm. Plain and simple. And that's that's the story I think that is really paramount for, for young kids, right? To understand here you are in a situation where you have everything. No question. Lou is supporting you. It's nobody that can stay in front of you. You can do what you want on the basketball court. You can talk about Mr. Page. You have the gift, right? I and, 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 and that being said, a lot of kids don't realize because they, they only know what they see, right? Mm -hmm. They only know that somebody's got a binge or somebody got a Bentley or somebody got this thing that, that they cover. Mm -hmm. And they don't realize that some of the things that if, if you go the wrong route, there's, there's a price to pay. Mm -hmm. and, and, and I'm going to let you tell it in your words, mm -hmm. but at that point, you decide not to go to Jacksonville. I remember seeing y'all yeah, took like a tour team to like France or something like that. I think y'all went overseas. I forgot where y'all went, but that picture's still in y'all trip. Excuse me, that's why we played the Russians. The Russians came over here and gave us the car. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Because back then, we really was like, as they call it now, the AAU circuit. We was like the first one that was playing like that on that level. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It was no Riverside. It was no Palm Coast. It was us. Playing on that circuit, I didn't hate it. I didn't try it when I was Right, 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 right. right. NBA, right. <laughs> Rich, Rich, Rich. No, you know me. Like, they, they, they was going to Phoenix. You know, like, you know, like, we was everywhere. Then before us, they know Arnold. Arnold and them, that's the best AAU ever in New York City. Arnold and them, they lose three years on the circuit. 
That's what you do. That, 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 that could, that could, listen, I, I know about that. You know I'm going on every day. But, so now, where did it, where, where does it go south? Where does, where does it take a turn when you realize, damn, I'm jammed up? I guess that, and then at the time, that's when my mom was deceased. So, mm. it was like 90, you know, like, man, yeah, things was bad, man. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? So, it was like, and I was caught up. No excuse because everybody knows, like, I had it good. Mm -hmm. I just made the, the, the wrong decision. Mm -hmm. So now, you give the government their time, right? No question. How long? All together, I gave the government like 17 and a half years. 17 and a half years, and in that time, a couple of times in and out. If I'm not mistaken, right? Maybe yeah, one time, only one time I, I okay. came home. My first federal day was in 95. Mm -hmm. I did seven years of that. I came home, not even a year later, and caught 12 more years in the flood. Mm. So now I've been home. That should be 10 years I've been home. No. I stopped counting when I, was, when I got off federal law. I stopped counting. Copy, copy. It's been a long, long, long time. Over five years easy. I've been on federal Respect to that, man. And, and I want to say I'm proud of you. Um, obviously, we go back since young children, man. And how old are you? How old I met you? Man, you probably 52 right now, right? I'm 48. So, so I probably was maybe eight, like eight years old. So how was I at 11? <laughs> I was the best player at 11 in New York City. You call it your own shot. I mean, I know how I was trying to be. From from eight there, from eight there, from when I was eight to thirteen, nobody in the city. We we tore it up, Tom. We tore it up. Listen, I you what you, is that? You 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 ain't gonna get an argument from me. It ain't no argument. <laughs> call me and you know, hit my family. Y'all disagree. Yeah. You know what's going on? But look, I want to be able to share, with especially young people. Um. On the second one, when you're on your way home from doing that 12, what is your mindset in terms of, okay, this is this is my charge, this is the time that I gotta do. What is your mindset in terms of what you wanna do when you come home? When does it switch for you to say, I wanna come home to my family, I wanna choose a different path, I wanna be able to give back in the way that you're doing right now? I guess, first my children, because when I came home, all my kids was grown. Kids was grown. Mm. Girls was all grown. Mm -hmm. Took over my 30s. So it was like, it's over. I mean, mm -hmm. I right. Plain and simple, it's over. Like, that life is over. And, 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 you know what I'm saying? It's over. It ain't no for me. It's over. Like, it's, it's over. You know what I'm saying? And, and that, was, that was like, it was a, a, a clear decision on you knew I got to be here for my family. I want to be free, I want, and, and, and I think there's a responsibility that you have, that I have, that a lot of people who was fortunate enough to be coached and trained and mentored by people like Tom and Dave exactly. and, and right. Lou, to good, now. Great men, man, they was great men, responsible yeah. men. They was responsible, I learned that at a young age. Now, like you said, me doing all that time in the federal system, I've never been in no jail as jail, but all my time was in the federal system. I've never been in trouble. So mm -hmm. I went to Pennsylvania. Right. I did wrong. Right. Destroyed the commitment. Right. You know what I'm saying? So it was like, yo, it was over. But Come guys on. like like Dave, now. It was hardworking men. All the men. We jumped. become them, though. Right? Exactly. And now our responsibility to the young people who come behind us mm -hmm. is to make sure that we give them the right information to make good choices and just have them maximize their potential. Because that's all Dave and Lou, and to a larger extent, you know, the, uh, the other guys in New York City, because although those people were our rivals, Al Eford and Honey Bun, right. those was responsible, Good respectful men, men, men. Exactly. Who, who, who you could trust with your children and know that they're gonna get good information. Okay. So, so now, you're in that position. How does it, how does it, affect you? How do you feel when a kid
kind of is going down the wrong path and you see it and you identify it, like what is the immediate reaction for you? It's, 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 it's hurtful because I know I once was that kid. Mm -hmm. A kid that it, it was maximum for me. Like, that, you know, like, I mean maximum, like I was always in good hands, great men, great people to show me to be, uh, you know, to have make positive things, you know, decisions in life and do, you know, mm -hmm. put me in good places. Right. Opportunities. Like I had that coming from where we came from. Yeah. Yeah. And to see a kid sometimes had that or take it for granted and know look, it can't happen. I don't think they know. <laughs> so you could talk to the kids right now. Talk to the kids right now. This is your opportunity to just share with them mm -hmm. what the opportunity is for them when they're in great hands. Talk directly to the kids. Take, take advantage of it. Uh, respect it. Be grateful. And be grateful of your blessing. You know? <laughs> you see what we're going through now, so more or less what I'm saying, you know? Opportunity, it, it could turn to greatness. It's just up to you. Appreciate that, man. So, you know, we could talk for hours, right? Yeah, then, you know, man, you could talk about me. Yeah. <laughs> so, as we do all of our shows, I like to have a little bit of fun with it. You know what I mean? Something a little lighthearted. Best player you ever played with. Come on, bro. Come on, let's take time. Bro. Come on, bro. What's the best play? That's the best play I gotta go with. Who? Kenny Anderson. Toughest play you ever played against? David King. Best coach? Tom Schreiber. Player that you never got a chance to play with that you wish you played with? Best shooter you ever played for? We'll get back to that. Favorite basketball moment? First time playing my first high school game at Walton at Kennedy. And I blew that kid ankle out. <laughs> Whoever he is. Whoever he is. <laughs> Just welcome me to the PSA. There you go. There you go. There you go. Scariest moment on the basketball court. Never was taught that. I don't know. <laughs> Sorry, not to be cocky. I'm just I'm just saying, you know, we're just asking questions. I got two more for you. If you was trapped in a foxhole and then you needed to fight your way out, what teammate would you want there with you? Carl Mmm. Last question. Bronx or Harlem? New York City. <laughs> you know this city. city. <laughs> My God, man. This is E. Jones, bottom to the top hoops. Lamar, you're the right, the legend, my brother. I appreciate you, love you, man. Thank you for coming. God bless you. Yes, sir. Love.